IELTS reading is choosing headings. That's what they're going to give you. They're going to give you several choices here. They're going to give you, here they give you eight headings. And then you have to determine the best heading for each section. Here we have A, B, C, D, and E. And here we have section A, section B, section C, section D, and section E. Each one of these will be best described by using one of these headings. Now, the first thing you do, don't read the article. It's much easier, it's much quicker to read these eight choices twice and then to read all of the article once. Take a look at the choices. We're going to read them, then we're going to read them a second time and highlight important words. So we have colorblindness in different countries, diagnosing colorblindness, what is colorblindness, curing colorblindness, unsolved myths, animals and colorblindness, developing the ability to see color, and colorblindness and the sexes, okay? So we've got eight choices. Now I read them again and I highlight important aspects. Now the whole article is about colorblindness, so the important words here would be different countries. Here, diagnosing. If you remember from the vocabulary list, diagnosing is what doctors do when you have a problem. You go in, they look at you, they give you a checkup, and they diagnose your illness. Then we have what is colorblindness. We have curing colorblindness. We have unsolved myths. We have animals in colorblindness. Developing the ability to see color. Colorblindness and the sexes. And as you know, sexes means man and woman. Okay, now the first one, we have the very first paragraph. Now before I even start reading, I can guess what the first one's going to be. You know that in the first paragraph they have to explain what they're going to write. It's an introduction and what is our topic? Our topic is colorblindness, so which one of these would have to be the first one? Right? The first one, of course, is three. That's our first one. And we can do this without even reading. It's common sense. You start reading an article, they're going to give you the introduction. Okay? And as always, when you have an answer, cross it off. It will save you time later. Next one. Now, paragraph B, what we do if we're not sure, we read the first two sentences. These questions are designed so that you can answer them within the first two sentences, okay? So here we go. Some people believe that only men can be colorblind. This is also a myth, though it is not completely untrue, okay? So we have the word myth here, but be careful, okay? We have men colorblind, myth. We go up here, we have myth. Okay, but this is unsolved myths, myths that we still think are true. Okay, and we have men. Is there men anywhere in here? Absolutely, sexes. Not really sure, so maybe I'll read one more sentence. In an average population, 8% of males exhibit some form of colorblindness, while only 0.5% of women do. Here we have males, women. Males and women, absolutely. Number eight. Our answer is number eight. Our answer is number eight. And then we cross it off so we don't look at it again. Good. Section C. It is true that all babies are born colorblind. Babies, colorblind. Okay, babies are colorblind. A baby's cones do not begin to differentiate. A baby's cones do not begin to differentiate between many different colors until he's approximately four months old. Okay, so a baby's cones do not begin to differentiate between many different colors until he's approximately four months old. So we're talking about babies here, right? Babies. Babies are born colorblind, then they develop the ability to see color. So what is our choice here? 
Absolutely. This is our answer. Developing the ability to see color. Great. Don't forget to cross it off. Okay. Let's continue with paragraph D. Part of the reason there are so many inconsistencies related to colorblindness or colorblindness deficiency, as it is called in the medical world, is that it is difficult to know exactly which colors each human can see. Okay? So, there are inconsistencies in the medical world. Difficult to know. Okay? Let's look up here. Okay? So we have the medical world. Anything about medicine? Well, yeah, we have diagnosing and we have curing, both related to medicine. But they also said difficult to know. Which one of these is difficult to know? Absolutely, diagnosing. That's what that means. So we cross off diagnosing. We go right here. And the answer is number two. Good. Section E, last one. There's only four choices left. There's only four choices left. We go to paragraph E. Okay. While many myths related to colorblindness have been busted by modern science, there are still a few remaining beliefs that require more research in order to be labeled as folklore. Myths busted by modern science. Right? There are few remaining beliefs they require more research to be labeled as folklore. Is that about different countries? No. Is there anything about curing? No. Myths we see. Anything about animals? No. Therefore, our answer is unsolved myths. And the answer is okay. Nice work. Excellent job.